So over the weekend, I took a look at being able to chain absolute redirects along with local redirects in an Angular application. And I demonstrated that the default behavior of the Angular router is to uh, ignore local redirects that follow an absolute redirect. And as a workaround for this limitation, what I did was move the redirect to functionality out of the inbuilt redirect to behavior and into a transient component that performs the redirect for you using the router navigate by URL method. Now in my previous posts, I had mentioned that the downside of this is that it breaks the natural back button of the browser's behavior. Uh, but what I realized is that we can actually augment the navigate by URL method to include a replace URL property. And what this does is essentially replaces the current item in the browser's history API as opposed to pushing a new URL onto that history queue. So just to recap, um, in our router configuration, we have the absolute redirect component here. And the absolute redirect component injects the currently activated route so we can access that data property. And then once the component is initialized, we reach into the, uh, the snapshot data dot redirect and we perform that navigate by URL passing in that redirect URL, which is the absolute URL in this case, again, defined here in the data property. Then we execute navigate by URL and pass in the replace URL as true. And what we can see now is that uh, if we jump into the browser, so notice that we're at the beginning of our history here, there is no back button. And I'm gonna click on the ping pong people and you'll see that it redirects to ping. Ping will redirect to pong and pong will redirect to people. And what we will see is that if I click this, you can see in fact that we did end up on people list. And as part of that, we did an absolute redirect to pong and then followed by an absolute redirect to people. Now, if we look at our back button history, what you'll see is that there's only a single item on the history. We're not getting those intermediary uh, ping and pong entries, which means that now if I click the back button, I return back to the previous URL prior to the redirects, maintaining a natural and intuitive back button behavior for the browser. So again, we can click on the absolute redirect here. We do the chained absolute and local redirects, allowing us to get that natural back button behavior. And of course, uh, part of this is allowing the local redirect to come after the absolute redirects, again, also while maintaining that back button behavior. So uh, again, just a quick follow-up to yesterday's post or to a Saturday's post, I think it was, and uh, a correction there in, in so much as the drawbacks of this approach being back button disablement, uh, when in fact we can use this replace URL property to maintain the intuitive back button experience for the user while sidestepping the limitations of the Angular router.